All right, Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, before we get started, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. How will by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to do rule and teach well that have taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. Peace, salutations, and respect to you, I came out there scattered to the four corners of the earth, pushing the ministry and the prophecies of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, in all truth and sincerity. Shalom to you, hopeful elect out there, this brother Lord Yah. It's my Allah. Kind of, we just come with a really quick lesson, man. Um, we're just going to, like, land back off of, uh, you know, this whole thing that's going on uh, right now on YouTube. Of course, it's not going to uh, surface on the, the, the mainstream uh, news stations because, of course, uh, who I'm talking about here on the screen, who you see, T.D. Jakes, man. We're going into uh, the simple fact that he's being exposed for being a mo. For being a, a a sodomite, if you will, man. Okay, there's 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 reports coming out that that T D Jakes, okay, is is zesty right along with the rest of them. It's not very surprising, man. But at the end of the day, all right, it, it really is landing off of the fact that P Diddy has been exposed over the last few weeks mm -hmm. for committing homosexual acts and forcing celebrities. Okay, so that they grow in their celebrity to do homosexual yeah, grooming them, man. grooming them, and like right now, um, the modern day idols uh, of uh, Babylon is uh, are uh, these uh, these celebrities. Oh. Um, and <clears throat> what's going on is the Lord's bringing them bringing them low, and how He's bringing them low, He's exposing them to the public of their dirty deeds. And so, let, to let us know, hey, these are these these are the these are the creatures that I've created, and you're worshiping something that I created. And this is I'm going to show you them for who they really are, to let you know, hey, these idols ain't nobody to idolize, you know. And so, yeah, go ahead. I got a quick precept here. Uh, it's the book of Luke, chapter twelve, starting at verse two. I'm going to read down to three. All right, it's red letter, so this is our Lord. And Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is him speaking. Luke chapter 12 and verse 2, reading down to 3. And it reads, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. So you got to understand, the Lord was speaking, all right, in context, he was speaking to his disciples here, man. And he was warning them of the Pharisees, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, all right, that walked the earth at that time, all right, during the Roman Empire. But we can apply this to ourselves, man. All right, there's nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Everything that has been hidden in this society, all the uh, the, the skullduggery that Esau has done behind closed doors, the, even the wicked Jakes, man, all the, the, the sacrifices they have made, the people they've killed, wicked acts they've committed, all right, for money and for fame and for, for prestige, man. The Lord says there's nothing covered that shall not be revealed. So that's what you see going on now, man. You're seeing celebrities being exposed for the for, for how wicked they truly are, man, and how vile they can be. All right. So when we when we go into this precept, there's nothing covered that shall not be revealed. That applies to that, man. Neither hid it shall not be known. We understand through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai what's going on now, man. We're seeing prophecy being fulfilled, man. Verse three. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. All right, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, were plotting on the dis uh, the disciples who became apostles, and then most importantly, they were plotting on Yahweh Shai, man, to get, to take him down and to get him out of the way, man. But uh, in modern times, man, what whatever these Edomites and of course wicked Jakes have done behind closed doors, the thing, the, the meetings they've had, man, Satan worship, all that wickedness, man, the, the Lord says it's gonna be heard in the light. What's the light, man? We've been talking about the light, man. The light is this truth. All right? This truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. It says, And that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Meaning everything that you've said, all right, uh, in the ear, in someone's ear, all right, secretively, okay, where nobody was able to really hear you, where you didn't say it in front of the masses. The Lord says it's going to be proclaimed upon the housetops, meaning what? That it's going to be exposed all right, and brought to the surface so that everybody knows about it, man. You, you got it, bro. I got a precept. This is John 3 and 20. It says, for everyone that doeth evil, <clears throat> hate the light. And so these people who are out here, these celebrities out here doing these evil deeds behind closed doors, where they, and they, they let you know they have no fear of the Most High because 
if they had the fear of the Most High, they wouldn't be doing these these uh, unrighteous, wicked, disgusting acts. But they're doing it. And so uh, for everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light. They hate the truth. They hate what they hate that what we're preaching. They hate that what we're uh, we're, we're trying to get our people to uh, understand to to come up out of. They still want to in, indulge in that those these these behaviors, these uh, homosexual acts, uh, the, the, these rituals. You know, it says neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds. This is the point. Lest his deeds should be reproved, and those deeds are dirty deeds in which they don't want to be reproved. And so right now the Lord is forcing it, forcing it. Either you gonna <laughs> either you gonna repent for your actions, or I'm gonna continue to expose you for who you really are. Mm. And you're not an idol. You're just a man. You know. You're just a man or a woman. You know, go ahead. Well, I got the definition of reprove here, mm -hmm. man, from Adam Online, okay? It says to accuse, charge as a fault, mm -hmm. okay? And these people are being reproved in these last days. Because one of the things we had to do once we came into the truth, we had to, hey, <laughs> the things that we did in the world, we're like, uh -huh. we were disgusted by it. Uh -huh. And we had to come, and when, we, and we, and our, when our mind finally had came to, we were like, you know what? Yeah, and we and, and we we accepted the fact because that's the you know when uh, what they say take we took accountability before you can really truly repent you have to take accountability and a lot of these guys don't take accountability for their actions that they commit. Uh, um, and you know that goes into uh, I believe it's Second Corinthians where it goes into examine yourselves mm -hmm. whether you be in the faith mm -hmm. or are you willing to give these things up yep. okay to serve you how about Shmuel Shai man mm -hmm. all right. Hey, no, those who love the world, man, you, hey, the scripture said you're enmity with the most high, God. you know, meaning hatred. Yeah, Very you have enmity. Like, yeah, it's Im like, to be, matter of fact, Salakia. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to butcher Let me just finish this Go definition ahead. real quick. Uh, it says accuse, blame, disapprove, condemn. Okay. It says deliver a rebuke, admonish. Okay. So the, uh, the men's deeds being reproved specifically this character here on the screen, all right, T.D. Jakes, all right, and it's true, man, what they're saying about him, all right, the signs are all there, man, all right, and through the, the Holy Spirit, we understand, all right, that, that these things are true, man, all right, because you can, you can read a man's spirit, man, all right, I believe it goes into the, in the Apocrypha, it goes into how a man is known not only in his speech, but by his behavior, his gait, G-A-I-T, all right, his behavior patterns, how he carries himself, man. All right, he, he, he's very sketchy, man. And, and Diddy is the same way, man. That's why they walk in the same spirit and they do these wicked acts behind closed doors because this is who they really are, man. You got it, bro. God, it goes right to the scripture real quick. Uh, this is James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high. It is adverse. It is against the most high. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these guys are what? They're friends with the world. You know, mm -hmm. if you're, if, hey, they're, these are the ones that we spoke about at camp the other day when we talked about uh, those who are in a gross, dark, gross darkness to the people. You know? Mm -hmm. They are in darkness. They are friends in the world. They are operating in the worldly mindset. They are operating in the Edomite, heathenistic, worldly mindset. And the Lord said that is enmity with him. You are against them because that doesn't that doesn't apply to the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures. You know, it says, "Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High," and that's what you uh, you you end up having yourself as as an enemy of the Most High. God, and you know what, Diddy, he was committing adultery, man, and he was uh, forcing women, okay, to do adulterous acts. Okay, to sleep with different men and do do all types of wickedness, man. And he was getting people to bow down to him, to 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 to, to, to see him as as something higher than what he truly is, man. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much them worshiping themselves. They don't give the heavenly Father the the uh, the reverence and respect that he deserves, man. So I got a quick precept just to go into that, all right? Because this is pretty much what um this is pretty much prophecy being fulfilled, man. Romans chapter one. All right, and verse 25, I'm going to just read down. It says, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? And that's what we got going on now. The creature, which is the creation, us human beings, whether it be animals, bugs, rodents, okay, 
anything here on the earth that has been created by Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, you got people, specifically human beings, who change the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve themselves or someone else other than Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Most importantly, the nation of Israel. That's what T.D. Jakes and Diddy do, man. They worship Satan, okay? And they reverence themselves. They put themselves up on a pedestal, all right? Who worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, our money, okay? Because Yahweh Hashem Shai gets the true reverence and respect, man. All right? Not us. We're just, we're just uh, in these weak fleshly bodies, man. We're just human beings. Verse 26, for this cause... The Most High gave them up unto vile affections because they wanted to worship themselves and one another and worship and serve these idols, man. The Lord says he gave you up to your vile affections. And then you see that being played out through right. these uh, these freak offs that's being exposed by the right. pu by the public and by uh, uh, victims uh, of uh, P. Diddy right. and uh, the rest of these uh, elite and these uh, boule, uh, boule, yeah, uh, boule members. Yeah. Right. yeah. Black boule. It says, for this cause, because they did this, the Heavenly Father gave them up unto vile affections. Homosexuality is a vile affection, man, mm -hmm. meaning a, a shameful sexual desire, man. It says, for even their women did change the natural use, meaning what they were created to do naturally, into that which is against nature. So you're doing something like uh, you're being a, a lesbian, man, okay? Or you're, you're a woman walking around calling yourself a man. That's changing the natural use of who you are and what you were created for, which is to have children and have a husband, okay, into something that's against nature. You're doing the opposite of that. Verse 27, and likewise also the men, this can apply to D, uh, T. D. Jakes and P. Diddy, man, leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, doing unclean, wicked, demonic acts, man. Okay. And those those stories that's coming out about them is true, man. Okay? Because it, it you, you can't get thousands of people saying the same thing, man, and it's it's a lie. Okay? But it says burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, doing homosexual acts, man. Mm -hmm. And unseemly is something that is extremely group, shameful. Group orgies. All right? Uh, uh hiring uh male prostitutes to to watch freak off which which with your wife that's exactly. sick you are uh, sick you know uh bending forward and letting another man go up in you man being a, what they called uh this they said he's a power power a power bottom oh man <laughs> super wicked man super <laughs> demonic man yeah but we go let no, me finish yeah, this it says working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense that payback T.D. Jakes being exposed, Diddy being exposed, that's recompense, man. That's judgment from the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son from the heavenly realm, man. Mm -hmm. It says, receiving themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, because they put themselves before the Lord, man. Right. The Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. Reprobate meaning what? Void of judgment. That's why he's hiring male prostitutes and, and commit doing all these uh, orgy parties and shit behind closed doors. That's a reprobate mind, man. To do those things which are not convenient, all right? There's no convenience in what Jake what Jake has been doing, specifically T.D. Jakes and, and Diddy, man, okay? These things are not convenient because, for one, you got to go against your morals. You got to go against your value system, man, just to have a little bit. Okay, let's finish it off with, uh, you got a preset? No. Nah. We can finish it off with 1 Timothy chapter 6, man. Okay, because this is ultimately what you're seeing happen before your very eyes. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. So those who love money, man, okay, you're engaged in evil because you put money before truth. Okay, which while some coveted after... They have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Let's read it in the NLT and then we can finish. For the love of money, all right, 1 Timothy 6 and 10 NLT. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. You got Jakes who have, who have turned from the ministry, all right, and went back into the world to serve these other gods, man. 
The Lord says you're going to be pierced through with many sorrows, man. Okay? That's that exposure. That's, that's everything covered being revealed, man. And it's all happening from the heavenly realm. It's just the judgment of the heavenly father, man. All right, that's all I got, though, bro. Um, that's it. Okay, Kyle. All right, man. But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. It was quick, you know, quick exhortation. All right, to you hopeful elect out there, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. The morning to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you hopeful elect out there. Shalom.